Hi everyone, it's Nick. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all things area rugs. We're going to be talking about size, we're going to be talking about design style, we're going to be talking about budget, uh, materials. I'm just going to be going over the whole thing, everything you need to know to buy an area rug. As always with my videos, uh, timestamps and all the product descriptions and everything are linked and all down below so you can check that out. First, let's hear from our sponsor before we get into the rugs. Okay, and then that brings me to today's sponsor which is Omaze. Now if you're not familiar with how Omaze works, here's how it works. You basically go onto their website and you make a donation to these wonderful, fantastic charities and you can also win amazing, fantastic prizes. Now Omaze reached out to me directly because they really wanted me to talk about this amazing dream home. So they've got this really beautiful four bedroom, four bath dream home in Austin, Texas. They've got this amazing high-end kitchen which has this gorgeous walnut cabinetry, these really seamless contemporary built-ins that I really love. So you can enter for a chance to win this beautiful home but at the same time you're also supporting an amazing, wonderful charity so it's a win-win all around. And the charity for this campaign is Folds of Honor. And Folds of Honor is a nonprofit organization that is providing educational scholarships to spouses and children of fallen soldiers and disabled service members. And it's just a really wonderful charity to support. So you're able to enter for a chance to win this beautiful home. And at the same time, you're also supporting a really wonderful charity as well. So to potentially win this amazing dream home in Austin and also to help support Folds of Honor, uh, please go to home.omaze.com slash Nick Lewis. Okay, so first things first, let's talk budget. So there is going to be a lot of variation between the rugs that you're maybe going to find at Ikea or even Wayfair uh, versus some of the ones that you're going to find the more hand knotted sort of wool rugs that you're going to find that we're going to discuss in this video. Those are going to be a lot more expensive. Budget really does play a huge role here. Now there are some low budget options that can be really nice um, and they can be quite durable. I'm going to give you some examples in this video, but I think it's just really important to know that budget is going to determine what rug is going to make sense for you. If you are looking to go for a little bit more of an investment piece, I recommend you can find some really great rugs online. Just really look for hand woven and hand knotted because those are going to be keywords that you're looking for. Going to be a little bit more expensive, but they're going to be a lot more timeless and a lot more durable and more beautiful for longer. Okay, now the next thing I want to talk about is design style because um, although you can sort of go eclectic and you can pull sort of different things together, which can be super interesting and create kind of a signature look for yourself, it is important to know that there are different design styles for rugs, just as there are for other decor pieces that we talk about on this channel all the time. So you've got vintage, you've got boho, you've got Scandi, you've got traditional, you've got contemporary, you've got mid-century modern, right? So really understanding those different design styles is going to heavily impact which rug you're probably going to end up choosing. So if maybe you're going for something uh, like a Scandinavian space, you might be looking for something uh, a little bit more of a natural material. Uh, you're going to maybe be going for white. You could be going for touches of black. You could be going for more of a natural look. So something like maybe a jute rug, that would work with a Scandinavian space. If you're going for mid-century modern space, you might want to go for something geometric with like really bright colors that maybe pull in some of those really funky colors that you have in your space if you're going for that sort of a look. Or perhaps if you're going for a boho space. You might want to go for something really funky and eclectic or as I mentioned in my boho video you might want to layer different rugs together. That can be a really cool uh, look if you're going for something boho. So definitely be mindful of design style. Again there's so much room here to like play with your own kind of personality and bring out different rugs that you like um, and you can absolutely mix different design styles together. That is always interesting and encouraged on this channel. But if you're maybe new to design and you're trying to figure something that really looks cohesive sort of stick to a specific design style or a couple of styles because in many ways you want to kind of design from the ground up and so that rug is really going to sort of set the tone for the rest of the furniture pieces that you have in your room. Also in regards to color and texture in order to make your space feel really cohesive consider repeating the patterns that you maybe have in other places in your home. So in the room that we have right here the rug that I have has a lot of blue in it and that makes sense because you might notice behind me I've got a lot of blue in this room. So I really use the rug as a way to sort of repeat the color over and over again so that the space feel really cohesive and it feels like it all belongs together. So by using that color and uniting it with that color, the space feels like it all belongs together. Okay, so now let's talk about material. So material, my advice there is to really think about where these rugs are going. So if you're looking for a rug for a really high traffic area, maybe it's for a kid's room or an entryway or like a mud room or something like that, I would go for something like maybe a polypropylene or a polyester. Uh, those can be rugs that are very durable. They are oftentimes washable, uh, which makes them really easy to care for over the long term. Because these are rugs that are gonna get dirty, you know that, and so you wanna be able to 
to wash them regularly and you know they're going to be there uh, you know for months and years to come because you don't want to keep replacing those rugs over and over again so going for something that's maybe a little bit more of a delicate fabric I wouldn't advise in those areas so really consider kind of really durable materials for those types of spaces okay next up let's talk about wool wool is a great material um, especially for like living rooms it's very plush think really cozy and sort of really luxurious I love wool rugs again if you know see the budget section that we talked about earlier if you can going for something like a hand knotted rug is going to stick around for a lot longer it is going to stand up to wear a lot better than sort of the machine made rugs that you're gonna find in some of the big box stores so I find wool rugs really makes a difference in terms of budget uh, but I do think wool rugs are really beautiful and usually kind of my first choice when it comes to choosing a rug especially for something like a living room okay so two other materials I'm kind of kind of put in the same category as viscose and silk so these are really luxurious fabrics they're really beautiful really soft and gorgeous I do not recommend them really for high traffic areas I wouldn't put this in a hallway I wouldn't put this in a kids room I think these are rugs that are just really delicate and beautiful okay so the last material I want to talk about here is jute jute is a material I feel like I talk about on this channel a lot um, and for good reason like I feel like jute um, it sort of embraces a lot of sort of the na warm natural tones that are just very trendy right now but it is also a really rich uh, material that feels quite sophisticated but is also very durable so this is again ideal for those entryways uh, but it's kind of got a little bit more of a sophisticated touch than you would maybe see in something like a polyester rugs it has a very sort of specific uh, texture to it which might not necessarily fit in uh, something that's a little bit more of a, a maybe an elegant or a traditional formal space uh, so maybe for something like that you might want to go with the silk or wool options but I overall think that jute is a really sort of rugged but sophisticated option and can work in a whole bunch of different spaces okay next up let's talk about size because when it comes to rugs size really matters okay so I would say that sorry I'm all flustered so when it comes to picking out the size rug for your space I would advise a couple of things first of all get the rug that is big enough to be able to accommodate all the furniture but not so big that it's going to sort of bump into the edges of your wall you don't want to carpet the space the point is is not to install a carpet on your hardwood the point is is to put a rug on your hardwood so you are going to want a little bit of space around the edges of your rug so that it's not completely wall to wall but you want to make sure that spatially it's going to be able to accommodate all the different furniture pieces that you want to put on the rug which let's talk about so I would say that there are really a couple of ways that you can do this so the first thing you can do is put the front two legs from sort of your sofa or your side chairs or whatever on the rug but then have the back two legs off of it that's kind of like the half on solution I really like these for apartments or smaller spaces because realistically you're probably not going to be able to put all four legs on top of the rug otherwise you run the risk of doing what I just talked about where you've carpeted the whole room so you don't really want to do that so I would advise the half on half off solution is really good for sort of smaller spaces smaller living rooms if you have a very large living room and you can accommodate a much larger rug then I would and you can afford it because they're really expensive then feel free to get the really large rug and put all the furniture legs of your sofa and your side chairs completely on the rug that is a very grand and elegant look I think it looks really beautiful if you can do it but again you have to have the space for it you have to have a really large living room number one and two you have to have the budget for it because these rugs get very very expensive so you want to consider those two things before you decide that you want to put all the furniture legs on the rug but the half on half off is definitely a good option and of course you've heard me talk about this before make sure that some of the legs of your furniture are on the rug don't have the rug where it's sitting in the center and you just got the little coffee table sitting on top I've talked about that a few times we don't do that it just looks really dinky it looks stupid don't do it so you want to make sure some of the legs are on to pick the half on half off or put all the legs on the rug and make sure by the way this is especially important with rugs make sure you measure before you buy sometimes you think these measurements are gonna be really standardized and you're like oh I'm just gonna go buy a rug oh I'm just gonna go buy a couch and then I'm good to go not necessarily these things are not as standardized as you think especially furniture so you really want to be 
getting out that measuring tape, measure out exactly what's gonna make sense. Literally tape it off on your floor. Literally get out your green painter's tape, measure out an eight by 10, a nine by 12, whatever, measure them out and see what's gonna make sense. And again, you're looking for a little bit of breathing space around the rug. You're looking for making sure that it accommodates either the front two legs on or all the legs on, you know, pick, make your decision there um, and then start shopping. And the last thing I wanna talk about is to have fun with rugs. So rugs are one of those things that are like, it's like an art piece. It's another piece of art that you're putting on your floor and it's really gonna help ground your space. So some options to having fun. You can use them as wall decor. I've seen that, that can look really, really cool. And also start to like layer your rugs. We talked earlier about doing that in a boho space, but you know, if you've got a Scandinavian space and you're doing something really cool with layering rugs, like you go have at it. That sounds really cool. Like you just have fun with the design, have fun. That's what I try to do on this channel. Channel, right like we don't take design super seriously we just try to have a little bit of fun and rugs are a really great part of that because they're really just like art for your floor so other ways that rugs can be great is to really also rethink where you put rugs so we all know that you can put rugs in a living room that's like the classic place to put a rug but what about over a dining room you know you might want to be careful with those crumbs so maybe be mindful of the material that you use but a dining room can be really beautiful put it in an entryway you can put it in a bedroom you can put rugs in the kids room you can use a rug in place of a bath mat you know you don't necessarily have to use a bath mat if you want to find a, a beautiful rug that would fit in a bathroom that's sort of bathroom friendly that can look really cool uh, you can do a runner in your kitchen if that's really sort of a, a look that you're looking for it kind of creates a little bit more texture and pattern uh, in your kitchen and sort of mixes it up makes it look a little bit more interesting so lots of places you can use rugs you don't just have to use the rug in the living room although that's obviously beautiful as well uh, but really have fun with it outdoor space I just did a video on outdoor patios and that was one of the things I talked about is maybe able to use an outdoor rug because rugs can be really helpful in grounding your patio space as well. So there's lots of different rooms that you can use rugs. Really have fun with them, have fun with color, have fun with texture, play around with design style and make it your own. That's it for me for today's video, you guys. I touched on rugs in small spaces and I'm gonna link to that video here if you wanna check it out. Uh, I mentioned rugs there in passing and give you a whole bunch more tips there. So I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks a lot, bye.